Thank you. Asia said, you know, it wasn't about X's and O's, and this one was more that kind of want to factor. And I know it's first game from back from the break and all that, but as a coach, when that want to isn't there, and you hear that from your leader, how do you go about coaching to kind of bring that uh, out of them? They have to bring that. They have to bring that. If if I could give it to them, believe me, I would give it to them. You have you have they have to bring that aspect because that's internal. Like I said, I can sit there and try to put band aids over these little cuts and bruises, but when you're bleeding internally, it doesn't do much. Coach, I saw uh, some of your expressions there on the sideline there where you uh, felt like too many uncontested threes, even though they weren't knocking them down. New York wasn't knocking them down consistently like they normally do. But I could see that the team just wasn't playing up to Becky Hammond's standards. I felt that in the second half. What do you do to get the gals refocused and – you know, what's at hand, a three-peat, all that stuff, but I know you're a one-game-at-a-time mentality coach. I mean, <clears throat> you hold that team to under 80 points, you need to win. So tonight the problem was more on the offensive end than the defensive end. I think we shot, what, three for 22 after the first quarter. That's not going to get it done against the best team in the league, and they are the best team. Uh Really, this is just a disappointing effort, and I, you know, I continue to harp on it. It, it, it looks different when they play together, uh, playing the right way is an optional. It's not, it's not based on whether this person can make a shot or not. It is based on what the defense is doing, and it's the ball was late. We had multiple people go just freaking rogue, just rogue, and it looks incredibly selfish because it is. And I don't care whether it's who's shooting. AC, Kia, Kate, Tip. I always think it's going in. I always think it's going in. They got to think that about each other. And that, that helps you make the right play. But, I mean, we just, after that first quarter, uh, obviously it looks better when the ball goes in. I think we made six threes in the first um, conversely, like I said, I think we did a pretty decent job defensively. I'm not happy about the 13 offensive rebounds. Um, they took nine more shots. I'm like, wouldn't you guys have like nine more attempts? That would be nice. Our team got up nine, but um, we still weren't doing the little things for each other. And uh, we just have to have people have better performances. We got we to gotta shoot the ball better, too. I mean, when you're playing a team like that, that is that loaded. You have to sh you have to play well, and we had some people that didn't play well. Going back to Jesse's question, a lot of things that you're saying today are just things that you kind of said throughout the season. Still entering play tonight, your team was favored by three and a half points. What does that say about how this group is still kind of recognized widely, despite the way that this season is going for you guys so far? I don't know. That's the people's thoughts and opinions. I actually don't care. We're over under what the fuck. I don't care. Sorry. <laughs> Coach, uh, what have the challenges been like this week just trying to get your Olympians back into the group of things? I mean, the, what they were over there with the last month is exhausting. I mean, it would be foolish to say otherwise. Um, a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, uh, a lot of pounding. Um, so it's just really about giving them the rest that they needed, but, you know, we looked a little rusty. We looked like we hadn't really played in a week. Um, you know, that's funny because, you know, New York just played LA and they didn't look like they missed a beat. They didn't accept, accept really like shoot the ball well tonight. Uh, we just probably shot a little worse. <laughs> um, but that's why you can't have all those other little things go wrong. Um, New York's very unselfish, and I think that's probably their best attribute. One more question in the room, and then we'll close it out with Kevin on Zoom. Um, I just wanted to get more of a clearer perspective on what you're saying. The, you said that players kind of went rogue, and then you mentioned, like, obviously that looks better when the shot's going. So did you feel that things weren't going according to the correct game plan in the first quarter when everything was going well? Like, was there some going rogue in the first quarter? No, there wasn't. That's why we scored 28. Because the ball was moving. Going rogue is I just hang on to it and dribble in place. 
for 20 dribbles. That's not how we play. And that's not, we're not going anywhere with that. And it just, it was multiple people just dribbling and us standing, staring at that person dribble in place. That was an ugly game. Sorry for the TV audience. Both sides kind of. And you feel like that shift happened from first to second? Like I feel like it happened second, third, fourth. As soon as it started not going great, we decided, well, we're just going to make the right play sometimes. Like I said, playing the right way is not optional, and it is not based on whether the ball goes in or out. It is a mandatory, necessary way to play. Because here's the other thing. You won't have the efficiency that I know my players are hard on themselves about. My, my players are hard on efficiency on themselves. I don't have to get on Jackie Young or KP or, or Chelsea. Um, they don't like shooting the ball like this. If their number, if they scored 20 and they took 25 shots, they're not happy with that. So my message, you know, to the whole team is you will actually play better. You will shoot better when we get ball movement. You can't get ball movement if your players are standing in one place. You have to get ball and player movement. They are intertwined. One is based on the other. And <clears throat> the ball was popping in the, in the, in the first quarter. And then there was times it did in the, in the second half, we just missed. And then we quit doing it because we missed. And that can't be the marker.